All right, freeze test between the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max in the Pacific Blue here on the left versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra here in its bronze colorway. Fill this up with water, stick it in the fridge for, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 12, 13 hours or something like that. It's pretty late night right now. Um, so I'm just gonna stick this in the icebox overnight Check it in the late morning or early afternoon tomorrow. So, I mean, yeah, it's just a real simple test. So let's go ahead and take a look at both phones, right? Meow. Just gonna look at both phones. So you can see 1.39 a.m. Late night. Let's see, get rid of this. Passcode, all right. Cool, so here's both phones. Have a look. Both functioning as they should. Swiping around. These are the apps on the Note. Do the same thing here on the iPhone. I mean, it's a perfectly working device. Amazon, whoops. Amazon. Let's check out the brightness on the Note a little bit. There you go. That about right? A little bit brighter maybe? Or let's dim the iPhone. Yeah, let's dim the iPhone. The iPhone's coming in a little hot. There you go, let's make sure that the brightness is about the same on both. And yeah, it looks about right, I'd say. So I mean, yeah, both phones are working cool. Now I read in the comments on my last freeze test that to actually run some games and let it run the entire time, see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run some games here. We got Mario Run. Alright, and then I'm gonna run one more game. Downloading config on both. Alright, cool. So there's two games running in the background, alright? And then let's just go ahead and just get started. I'm gonna open this. Oh boy. All right, and then let's go ahead and pour. Woo! Oh, the note's going crazy. Look at that. All right, and then actually let's pour on the iPhone. Might run out of water here. All right, so is this, are they both at the same level? Let's check it out. I think the iPhone has a little bit more here. Yeah, let's put a little bit more on the Note. Just for fairness, right? Put a little bit more on the Note. Is that the same? Let's check it out. Let's see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about the same, pretty much. Yeah, that's good enough. Cool. All right, now will the screens work? I don't, don't think so. Nope, they will not work underwater. So I'm gonna go ahead and just... Uh... Back in the note goes and do the same thing here on the iPhone. Let's see. There you go. Get back in there. Look at that. Get this debris out of here. What is this, pet hair? Oh my gosh. All right, cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, where's the lid? Put the lid on and we'll stick it in the fridge. It's really that simple. All right, by the way, this is my S20 Ultra. Put that to the side. I'm gonna be keeping track with that phone. All right, now grab the Ultra here, S20 Ultra. Let's see, let's go to the clock. And you know what, let's just start it up right now, okay? Cool. This is the ice box. Shout out to LG. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. 
and let's check it out. What are we dealing with? And that's the space right there where the phones uh, will go. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab the, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So you can see. There you go. Very nice. Here's the Note. Note 20 Ultra. Try to get it to sit in the middle. There you go. Well, maybe not. It's like leaning towards the left a little bit. There you go. I think that's good enough. Very nice. All right, go ahead. Close the ice box. All right, so we're a minute into the test. So I'm gonna check in, I don't know, might go 10 hours or 12 hours. I'll check tomorrow late morning, early afternoon. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, I'm back. It's the next day, it's about 12, 13 hours later. So let's uh, find out. This is my S20 Ultra. And there you go. 13 hours, 17 minutes, and 30 seconds. Cool, man. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with here. This is the ice box. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just uh, see. Oh boy. All right. Uh, well, let's get them out and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. This one is the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Super hard, kind of what she said. And then get this one. See, which one is this? I don't even remember. I think this one is the iPhone. iPhone Note 20 Ultra. I don't know, and I cannot tell. We'll take a look at this one. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's uh, get them open. See what we're dealing with here. See, where are we at? We are 13, 18. Oh my gosh, what in the world? So this is the note, as you can see, and this is the iPhone. And let's see, I cannot even tell. Wow. That is nuts. Damn, okay. Turn on the hot water. So you can see, get all the way hot, 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 hot. Come on. Oh, it's starting to crack. Did you hear that? All right, let's uh, do this. Is this even hot? Hold on a second. All right, it's getting there. All right, cool. Let's uh, put it in the liquid, hot liquid. Cracking noise. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, both devices are IP68 uh, rated for resistance. So, things like six meters, right? In half an hour or something like that. Let me know in the comments. I don't know the, set, the exact specification, something like that. I know it's IP68. All right, can I get the phones out? There you go iPhone. No, no, this is, this is the iPhone, yes. That's the Newt. Woo! Crazy. Let's uh, see if I can flip it over. I'd have to admit, there's something cool about that. Like, just the way that looks. I mean, you gotta admit, this looks kind of cool. Right, hold on, let me do something real quick. Cause you know, this video needs a uh, thumbnail, right? Of course. So I just think this looks really cool. 
You can see the phone's a little bit better now in the ice. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna just, my hands are wet. Ah! Don't wanna touch my camera with a wet hand. Okay, dry it off real quick, okay. So I'm gonna go like this. All right, that is the um, thumbnail for this video. That looks super cool. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's get these phones out and see if they work, man. Or did I just waste 2,500 USD? Ugh. Steep price to pay. All right, let's get them out. Let's get them out right now. That looks super cool though. <laughs> All right, I think it's better if I flip it over. It's thinner ice on this side, so yeah, this will this will work this way. Melt the ice, and um, oh well, looks like the note works. Did I see that? I thought I saw the note uh, always on display, but well, we'll check it out even further. There you go, I think that should do it. Turn the water off and then, can I get the phone out? Not quite. All right, a little bit more. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. I think that'll do, I think. Here's the iPhone. Whoa, look at that. Huh, the camera lens. Is that inside the lens or is that on the outside? That's on the outside, okay. Cool, we'll put that to the side or back in its container. And this is the, the new. Woo, that was tight. And we'll check this one out real quick. Am I seeing any condensation in the lens? Uh, let's check it out. Kind of do one of those. Nope, that looks clean AF. I'm gonna go in here. First of all, let's look at the display. Display looks clean. I'm gonna get in the camera here and not seeing any condensation under the display. Or under, yeah, under the display in the camera lens. That looks clean. I'll take a look at the iPhone again. It's fogging up, but I think that's on the outside. Is it on the outside or is that inside? I don't know. We'll take a look at the front-facing camera here. If I can get it to focus. There you go. That looks pretty clean, I think. All right. Cool, then. This is the moment of truth. Now, I think the note turned on, so let's just take a look at this right now. And it, look at that. It works. Woo! Man, I'm telling you, these phones nowadays are impressive with their IP68 ratings. You put it in, like, you can freeze them, etc., and they work just fine. I mean, look at this. Screen is working. Okay, now remember I had two apps on? So let's see uh, what happened here. Well, that's still in RAM. And look at this, you can, ready, you can resume. Audio test. Tell you what, that sounds pretty good. Give it a little shake, fling all the water out that might be in the speaker ports, etc. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Careful here. I don't want the phone to slip out of my hands. <laughs> Obviously, it's kind of wet still, etc. All right, let's uh, check that out again. And then uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna switch hands. Oh, I don't have three arms, so okay. Let's uh, take a look at this. Resume. <laughs> Gotta say, man, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip the iPhone over. What I'm gonna do right now is test the camera as well. 
So the screen works, the speakers work. So I'm gonna take a video here. I'm gonna make sure it's in the correct orientation. I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, take a quick video right now. Let's uh, start out with a wide angle first. And now let's go. All right, this is the test of the Note 20 Ultra right after the freeze test. All right, this is the test of the Note 20 Ultra right after the freeze test. Let me know the video quality and the audio quality. How does it sound? This is the wide angle. This is the 1X. Have a look. This is the 5X. Take a look at the iPhone camera there. Ooh, that condensation under the lens. We'll have to look at that later. Oh man. Woo. Not looking too not looking too hot on the iPhone. But we'll see. We'll see. And this is back on the uh, the 1X. So let me know how that sounds late. Let me know the video quality and the audio quality. How does it sound? This is the wide angle. This is the 1X. Have a look. This is the 5X. Take a look at the iPhone camera there. Ooh, is that condensation under the lens? We'll have to look at that later. Oh man, Ooh. not looking too not looking too hot on the iPhone, but we'll see. We'll see. And this is back on the uh, the One X. So let me know how that sounds late. Boom, there you go. Put that in the video. Let me know the quality. But I have to say, I mean, pending that, obviously I have to look at it on the computer to see what that sounds like. But as of right now. I mean, the video seems to be working. This picture seems clear, right? I'm going like this, this seems clear, all right? I don't know how it sounds like, but um, I mean, the screen works, the speakers look pretty good. Yeah, I don't know, man, I think man, it's, so that's a, I don't know, man, that's a passing score. One more thing, let's test out the, um, the S Pen. So let me get the S Pen out. Okay, Whoa. all right. And this seems to work. Let's see, uh, create a note. Click on that, and I'm just gonna do this. S Pen seems to work. Sick. So I'm gonna pass the note for the most part. Pretty good. And also, let me know in the comments, is the uh, S Pen also IP68 rated? I think so, but let me know in the comments. All right iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, is that on the outside? I think that's outside the lens. So it's not inside the glass, that's outside that little condensation there. Phone still feels relatively cold. All right, so this is the moment of truth for the iPhone. Is it gonna turn on or not? Let's find out right now. And let's go. Oh! Turns on. I'm gonna swipe, I'm gonna put in my code. And, seems to be working. I'm gonna swipe, I'm gonna swipe. Okay, now what happened to the two apps I had open? This is still in RAM. Okay, resume. Check the volume. This is not very loud. Okay. Mario run. Now the volume's all the way up, right? Yep, that's max volume. Does not sound very loud. Hmm, speakers might be suspect. Okay, I'm gonna, let me switch hands again. I'm gonna shake this. I'm gonna give it a shot. Now the notes, the note sounded pretty good, but the iPhone, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna shake it. Fling all the water out. Come on, iPhone 12 Pro Max. You do better than that. All right. I'm gonna get in here. How does that look? If I can get it to focus. All right. Let's try this again. Put in my code. And then Yeah, it's not very loud. And the volume's all the way up. Yeah, the volume is very dim. So I mean, will I pass this phone? I mean, if you give it a little bit more time to dry, it'll probably sound just as loud. 
pretty much back to stock as the note, but the note as of right now sounds way better. So I'm gonna have to give the pass or the, the win to the note in that regard. But will I pass this? I'll pass it, but I'll pass it with a C minus. Let's test out the cameras right now. Here's the cameras. I'm gonna go to video, okay? Make sure this is in the correct orientation. I'm gonna film starting with the half X wide angle and I'm gonna play. All right, this is the test of the iPhone 12 Pro Max right after the freeze test. All right, this is the test of the iPhone 12 Pro Max right after the freeze test. So let me know the audio quality here and also the picture quality. How does this look? Does it look all right? Let me know in the comments. This is the half X. This is the 1X. And this is the 2.5. Right into the Note 20 Ultra camera right there. I have a look. How does this look? How does it sound? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. So let me know of the audio quality here and also the picture quality. How does this look? Does it look all right? Let me know in the comments. This is the half X. This is the 1X. And this is the 2.5, right into the Note 20 Ultra camera right there. Have a look. How does this look? How does it sound? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. There we go. Now, pending that, I'll have to look at it on the computer to see how that sounds and looks like. All right, so let's break it down. The phones work, so that's good. Camera performance, again, that's pending. Sound performance, I'm gonna give the pass to the Note. That's a lot louder right now than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. On the Note, it does have an S Pen, so the S Pen works. So overall, the phones, especially the iPhone, you give this a little bit more time, I think the speakers will dry out and it'll work just fine. However, the Note just works right out of the ice right away, whereas the iPhone needs a little bit more time. So if I had to pick a winner, I'm gonna pick the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for this test. But overall, I'd say both phones performed very nice. All right, so let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out.